Hey, honey, it's Sundays with Sue, bitch. Up first is Ray Shea. Thank you, Tima. Thank you, D. All has been forwarded to voicemail. The Hello, is this Gina? This is. Hey, Gina, it's Sue from Middale Baptist. Yes. Um, I missed church this morning. Did you end up going? I did. Oh, good for you. Was it good? Very good. That's good to hear. I felt really lousy missing, but you know, sometimes you just gotta take a day. Well, yes, yes. Well... Um, I was wondering if you knew anything about the Bible Study Swingers Club at the church. Someone said Danny's in charge of it, and I had a few questions about it. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. This is not, I guess this must be a joke, but no. No, do you know, do you know Danny? All right, Corey Taylor. Hey, is this Sam? It sure is. Hey, Sammy, it's your great aunt Sue. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. I'm just thinking about you and missing you. Yeah, I miss you too. Uh, are you still working out there, uh, setting up connections for people with insurance and whatnot? Uh, actually, I've left that job, so... Oh, no. Why'd you leave? It just wasn't a good fit. Oh, no. Were you working with some sour pickles? Yeah, I think so. But, I mean, it is what it is. I bet you did all the work and they didn't do nothing. Isn't that right? <laughs> no, it just, um, it's it's a lot of calling and bothering people, and I'm just not good at that. Nobody likes it when people call their phone unsolicitedly, you know? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, that would be a hard job. You know, basically, uh... Third world countries, their economy runs on them scam calls. Right, and everyone thinks I'm one of them, so I it wasn't it. a good time, but no. we're out of there. Back in the day, I used to have to call people up for Avon, you know, because I was an Avon salesperson, and I understand, honey, that was one of the worst jobs I've ever had. Yeah. That yeah, was... Yeah, I've heard that's kind of a rough business, too. Yeah, that was what that was before... I was a Virginia Slim model. Then Virginia Slim in the 120s, specifically that campaign they did, they scouted me and I started modeling for them. Cool. Yeah, and that was when my life turned around. So I hope you find your Virginia Slim modeling career, honey. I, I do too, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much. What's next in store? Uh, well, right now I'm looking at a couple different places. Um... I think the big thing is just finishing up my degree, though. Yeah. <clears throat> what was your degree in, or what way did you leave? Um, cybersecurity. Cybersecurity. We all need that, you know, there, you know, especially with this TikTok shit going on. <laughs> shit! I thought I had him in the bag. Jade Ann.
Oh, it's a Canada number. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. I don't know the rest of the song. That's all I know. Because I can read, Brittany. That ringing is awful. Somebody said, how do you know it's a Canada number? Hey, baby, it's Sue. How are you doing, Henrietta? Hello. Can you hear me okay? Henrietta. Hey, baby, it's Sue. Can you hear me okay? <laughs> Henrietta? Henrietta? I'm gonna call you back. I don't know what's going on with this phone. Thank you, Tyler. We're going we call three times and then we leave a voice and also maybe one more ring. Henrietta, it's me, Sue. How are you doing? Who is it? Who's it's Sue Dillon, honey. I can't understand you. It's Sue Dillon, honey. I'm coming on the bus. I just wanted to confirm that you were riding with us tomorrow. Oh, come on, Henrietta. It's Sue. We smoke cigarettes together sometimes. You know who I am. You keep, you keep breaking up. Well, honey, you must have that Sarah? shitty... You must have that shitty Sarah? service. No, it's Sue. You keep breaking up. I don't know what it is. Hold on. Uh, no, I'm not feeling well. I won't be going. Oh, well, that's okay, baby. We'll hold your spot. You can come catch up with us uh, Tuesday. Can you hear me better, baby? Okay, excellent. Hold on, I need I need a minute. Hold on a second. I'm about to shit myself. How do I turn this thing up? Oh, no. This is Sue Dillon, honey. I don't know. Um, I just was calling to make sure you're coming because Charles was talking about you wanting you to be there. Yes, I am, and we're very excited for the tour bus, you know. Uh, we know, we know, Henrietta, but we wanted you to come with us because uh, Charles, he really wants to get in them britches, if you know what I'm talking about, Henrietta. You're just hot stuff. Prince Charles? Yes, Charles really wants you, honey. What are you sick with? Uh, 
Oh no. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. The state's doctors are horrible, honey. They would mistreat you in a heartbeat. You definitely need to stay in Canada. Might as well go to Mexico to go to the doctor if you have to go to the doctor in America, by God. Okay, maybe Charles can say hello to you then because he really wants to take you out on a date. Now, you Henrietta. Want trip with us. Maybe Henrietta, Charles wanted me to ask you a question before you get off here. Okay. Are you a virgin? Am I a what? A virgin. <laughs> I am a widow. So you aren't a virgin then. All I said was, so you're not a virgin since you're a widow. Okay. I'll tell him that. Have you ever done the hanky-panky out of wedlock at least? Because he needs, he likes pure women and that's why me and him didn't work out. Okay, wow. What about when you were younger? Cast. That's good for you, you know. Not a lot of people can say that. Well, I'll let Charles know. I, I hope you feel better, Henrietta. Bye, sweet pea. Bye. A sweet broad. <clears throat> this one's for Jesse Dominguez. Thank you for the galaxy, Sarah T. And thank you for the member hearts. They're up here and they're like a penny and they help me out a lot. Is this Ralph? Yes, this is. Ralph, um, I'm pretty upset that, that we have to pay for the washers and the dryers and shit now. That's this is a this is awful. This should be free. What are you talking about? We have to pay to use the damn washer at the Who apartments. Is this this uh -huh. is Sue. What's that? This is Sue. You have to pay for which washer? Is it which pro which property? At Matador North. Okay. I'm not going to renew my lease. I've lived here for a long time. I'm not renewing my lease unless you give you me... You do not have to pay to use washers at Matador. Um, we had to start paying very recently. This oh. was not always a thing. The, we, you, the washers at Matador were always to be paid. No, they're not. They weren't before. Not that was because somebody somebody played with them and and turned the turned the payment off. They they were always supposed to be paid. Lie again, boss. Lie again. What's that? You're lying to my face. You just want me to renew the lease. No, you don't have to. That's don't fine. renew if you don't want to renew. I but want... they've always been paid. Somebody met, somebody played with the the washers and uh, made them free, but it wasn't supposed to be like that. Nobody was playing with anything, Katie. Okay, we'll talk to Jessica about it, and, and she'll tell you the same thing. 
Now she told me she was sorry in the car with you. <coughs> That's what Jessica, she told. Yep. I, no, I don't think so. She knows that they're supposed to be paid. Now? Yeah. It's always been like that. No, you take enough of our money. I know we ain't getting that deposit back. Why the hell are you going to make us pay to wash our clothes? Yeah. I mean, who, which, which property offers free laundry is, is my question. All of them, honey. It's basic. Okay. It's a necessity. You're going to attract bad bugs and lice and shit because nobody's going to be washing their clothes in their bed, and that's just how it is. Understood. <laughs> so. I mean, it's just that, that's, that's, it's always been that way, and I don't know why, why it wasn't for a while. I'm going to start smelling like a ripe ass, and I'm going to get fired from my job, and then I'm not going to be able to pay rent. It's just a slippery slope. I see. Okay, uh, I think Jessica's the best person to talk. She's the one that deals with that property, uh, and I, I'm sure she, she wouldn't tell you different than, than what I'm telling you, but uh, I never thought that they were free to begin with. I know that... You're just fibbing, and that's fine. You know that what? I know you're just fibbing, and that's fine. I, I, I still, I didn't understand. You know that I'm still, I'm just what? Fibbing. Fibbing. No, I'm not fibbing. Why would I fib? Because you don't want to be the bad guy. Okay. That's all right. I'll be yeah. the bad guy. Right. All right, Sue. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. This one is for Marissa Team. Is this Pat? Yes. Pat, um, I have a confession to make, honey. I've had a, a little crush on you for quite some time. What? And somebody told me you were single. Alright, no thank you. Bye. Have you ever... Okay, Pat. She don't want to go down the Sioux train. That's alright. This one's for Cameron J. Playing hard to get, ain't she? Thank you, David.
This just rings and rings and rings. Usually house phones have an answering machine. Well, uh, Cameron J, you don't have to send an alternate number or something, because this is not going to work, baby. Or I can try you next week, but that's it. That's all. I'll try to dial it one more time, but we ain't sitting on the phone that long. I'll sit for like 10 rings, and that's it. Okay, that's it. I got so I got caught up in the in the ring and damn, it's like I'm in a trance. Strangely hypnotic. It is. Okay, uh, Tessa Maletti, this is the last subscriber call, and then I'm moving on to my pre books. That fart was nasty. I know y'all heard it. Thank you, Tyler. Wasn't it cute, though? It was just like a little... Hello. Hi there. Hi. It's me. You, Madison. Mm -hmm. I'm not answering. Means I'm busy. Leave me a seat, you know, Clark. I ain't answering. Means I'm busy. Fair Let enough. Fair enough. After you have finished your message, just hang up. Or to hear more options, please press one. <coughs> Sorry, Jesse, my throat is itchy. Um, Jesse, I was wondering when you're coming back out of the nursing home and if you could drive me to the Dollar Tree. I was gonna get some of them lubricants or something for me and you to use. Uh, maybe in the parking lot or something. I don't know. I was just thinking about my glory days as a lot lizard. And I just think you're sexy as hell. And I ain't gonna be here much longer. So if you could help me get out of this nurse home for just a couple of hours. I would love you till the day I die, honey. And I already will. But I just had to shoot my shot. I got your number out of the computer at the nurse's station. They were gossiping. They didn't even notice. <laughs> They think I'm 
completely senile, but I have moments of clarity, and hey, this is one of them, so snag it while you can. Bye. All right, honey, you saw what Holly Rob pinned. Um, if you want to call, uh, we can get a call, but I'm booked up for this live, but I will be doing a gift goal call after we meet the galaxy goal. So, um, also, if you if you want to join the team with a member heart, that helps me out a lot. It's like a penny to get the heart, and it'll notify you when I go live and shit. I don't know. But, um, I am accepting cameo requests. I only accept 20 a week, and I've already gotten two booked. So, snag that while you can, honey. It resets every Sunday. And we also only have, uh, a few more spots open for prank calls for the videos. I shouldn't say few. I'm a third of the way booked up for the week. And I do calls a few days of the week. I'm taking tomorrow and Tuesday off. And I'll start again in the later week. That's when it will be done. But that's how you can get me. Or you can pre-book for the next available <coughs> show. Which is on 4-7. And can you believe it? But like I said, once we meet the Galaxy gift goal. We will open... Oh, thank you, Mike. We will open up a gift goal for a prank call on the live in the moment. Okay. Stay tuned. Thank you, Tyler. Terry. Yeah, I am booked up next week. I've been getting booked up, booked up, and horned up so far in advance. I can't believe it either. But yeah, if you pre-book, it would be for the seventh. But I believe it says that on Linktree. It says pre-book for four seven when you click it. If it don't, tell me. But I'm pretty sure it does. All right, we're starting with order number thirteen twenty. This one's for Tiffany. Thank you guys for um, the galaxies. If I miss your gift, I apologize. I'm doing like 10 things at once. Even though you can't see what I'm doing. I do appreciate it. I'm sorry that I can't say thank you to everybody. Thank you, honey. <phone rings> Hung up on me. <phone rings> Thank you, Tyler. Voicemail. The person you're trying to. Oh, thank you, Tyler. Tyler's giving us all the galaxies, and thank you for the TikTok things, R3. I know my Tennessee number is probably throwing you off, but I'm actually in West Virginia. I got this number about a hot tub for sale on Ashley Lane, and I was wanting to buy it. And um, what's the price and the size, and has anything nasty happened in it? Because I don't want anything that's going to have, like, a yeast and yeast problem that's in a common denominator with me and hot tubs, and we can't be 
Yeah, I need to know so I know how hard I need to bleach it. Um, but yeah, just call me back when you can. Bye. Yeah, Sunday is a good day. Oh, thank you, Jade. I know y'all think you know everything in the world and that you know how I should run this, but you don't because this is probably your first time watching this shit. So back the hell up, honey. Uh, I get plenty of people to answer on Sundays, but every now and then there's going to be some that don't. Some people don't answer their phone for anyone, so shut the hell up. You don't know what to do. I do. So piss off, honey. I'm tired of your... Keep it to yourself, because you don't know. You don't know shit. All right, fourteen ten. SMB oh three two eight. These two didn't answer last week, which I'm not expecting to answer this week, but we're still going to try. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you, Sarah T. You have reached for one seven. Okay, why do we read our why do we read our numbers out loud like that? Thank you. The mailbox is full. Oh my god, this happened last week. Okay. I'm going to tell her we have to have an alternate request. Okay, I'm emailing them for you, Mom. I don't know why I just did it. So, last week we thought we emailed her, but we didn't. It was just a comment. You have to click the email and then and then tap. Okay, Cole Sims. Or sorry, Cole. Try not to say last names. This is one four seven one. The number that has been disconnected. Holy hell! Let me try one more time. Maybe I dialed it wrong. Bad luck with numbers so far.
been forwarded to voicemail. The person... Don't email me asking me if I've done yours yet. That really ticks me off, dude. I'm trying to do them right now. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing to investigate if I've done yours or not. Just listen to the live. Or go check the live on YouTube. I'm on order number 1471. I go in order of order number. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is... Oh, thank you, Tyler. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two. I'm going to leave a message. Available. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. Ain't that some shit? Alright, I just emailed you 1471. Okay, let's redo the live goal. Thank you, honey. <clears throat> this one will be for a call right now. It's Leon the Kitten. Cole Sam. Cole. Cole. Is that the one we just did? Yeah, that's the one we just did. Uh, Esther. Thank you, honey. Hey, Dolores, it's Sue. How are you doing? Who's this? I am your sister-in-law, honey. Who? I'm your sister-in-law, Curtis's sister. You're not my sister-in-law. Yes, I am. Did you forget about me, Dolores? I just got out to jail. <laughs> I ain't talked to nobody in years. What do you mean, sister-in-law? I'm Curtis's sister. You are not. Yes, I am, Dolores. I'm offended that you would forget me like that. This ain't Curtis's sister. Yes, it is. It is not. Yes, it is. What have you been getting into? I've been getting into nothing, but this isn't Kurt's sister. I have other sisters. Don't tell me you're Kurt's sister, because you're full of shit. I am Kurt's sister, and I'm offended that y'all just strung out and forgot about me. Are you on drugs or something, honey? No, but I'm hanging up, because you're not my sister at all. Are you drinking on the Lord's Day? <laughs> you're full of shit. You are not Kurt's sister. Anita Paul.
leave a message and I'll get. If you want to call right now, send a Lee on the kitten. Otherwise, you'll have to wait. Hey, this is Kyle. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as quick as possible. Thanks. Hey, Kyle. It's Sue. Uh, I was wanting to see you about getting something fixed. Uh, I got you to do the tombstone for my Aunt Jean Pendleton's tombstone about six months ago. It sits in Hampton Vaughn Crestview Memorial Park in Wichita Falls, Texas. I look at the stone every now and then, and I love the work you did, but I, I do have to say, <coughs> sorry, I'm actually looking at my mother's ashes right now, and it kind of blew up in the air, got on my throat a little bit, <coughs> but um, anyway, she has a right ear on the tombstone, it looks lovely, but no left ear, and I was wondering um, if you would etch that in because this is not a clear depiction of what she looked like and it's just a shame so <coughs> could you please fix this i don't have all the money in the world to pay you to do it and honestly you should do it for free because it should have been there in the first place call me back when you can Thank you, Sarah T, and thank you, honey, for the lightning, Max. All right, we're doing, uh, one, we're doing Oho Land. Oho Land. Ah. Hey Adam, it's it's Sue. I am a cat. Aunt Sue. Can you hear me okay, Adam? You sound like you're in a rowdy area. Yeah, so what? Uh, I am Cat's great aunt. Can you hear me or not, Adam? It's Cat's great aunt Sue. I just wanted to say hello since you married my niece. Well, it's because you're in a room full of loud ass people, Adam. You're in a room full of loud ass people. Well, I'm Kat's great aunt, and you're making a terrible impression on me right now. I'm your wife's great aunt, and you're talking to me like I'm a damn dog. How many have you drank today, son? I'm at a loss of words, Adam. I thought we would have a better conversation than this for the first time. Y'all sound like you're partying, so we Are you there? What's that? Are you there? My what? Are you still there? My so what? 
Are you still there? Well, I'm answering you, so I'm obviously here. You're not answering me, honey. Has Cat mentioned me? I'm answering you. Has I'm telling you I'm not here. What do you want from me? I wanted to say hello and introduce myself. I Switch your voice. I can't understand. How do I switch my voice, honey? This is these are the chords that the good Lord blessed me with. Well, right there, he's uh, you're offending me using the Lord's name in vain. I'm offending that. I'm offending you from talking. You know what? You got words with the Lord? I got words with you. Where you at? I was just wanting to say hello. Exactly. You ain't no word. I'm Kat's relative. He was drunk as hell. All right, let's see who. G Thank you, Kay Kayla Leary, for the Leon the Kitten. I'm adding you as a friend, Kayla. Go ahead and DM me your prank request, okay? You have to DM it to me on here, and then I will do it. I'm going to do one while we wait on you. Thank you, honey. This one's for my cousin. Hey, baby, it's Sue. How are you doing, honey? I ain't talked to you in a long, long time. Who is this, my love? Oh, this is Sue Dillon. I'm from high, from your high school, honey, from Asheville High. Um, I'm planning the reunion for your class. Well, right now, I'm in Punta Concha, and this is an international call right now. Oh. So, you're going to... Yes, it was my birthday yesterday. Yes, I know. I was going to tell you happy birthday, honey. Well, thank you. But I'm in Punta Concha. Punta Concha. Wow. Can you please give me a call back later in the week? Yes, happy birthday to you and many more. Thank you so much. Have fun in Punta Cana. Bye, honey. Drink a mark for me. That conversation in Spanish was not appropriate. <laughs> okay, let's see if we've gotten messaged. Oh my god, your dog is chewing. Thank you, honey. Okay, Kayla. Kayla sent me. Oh, thank you for the dancing bear, baby. Let's do this one for Kayla Leary. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone. Now. Thank the person you, you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please. 
Okay, just so you know, if I leave a message, the prank ain't necessarily done. If they call me back and leave a message or text me, I will get them back on Hollabacks. I do Hollabacks on Fridays, I mean. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hey, Nathan, it's Sue. I was really hoping you'd answer the phone. They're trying to put me in a slammer. I didn't know something got hung up underneath my titty and they said I was trying to steal stuff in the Dollar Tree and I wasn't. And you're the only person's number that I could remember, Nathan. I know you probably don't remember me, but I'm your fourth cousin and I need you to bail me out if you can. Please call me back. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Thank you, everybody, for the gifts, like I said. <coughs> thank you, Sarah T. If I miss one, don't get offended. I'm not, I'm not ungrateful, I promise you. Thank you, Yvette. Jessica. Oh, this one's for Wick oh. SJ. Winston. Is he chewing on my microphone cord? I think he's licking him. Hey, John, how are you doing? Love you, bro. I can help you. Well, I was wanting to see about getting the carpet cleaned up. Okay. Uh, well, I got a bunch of blood in the carpet. Spanky. He was skinning some deer inside the house. He was high on his Xanax when he did it. He wasn't aware of what was going on in the world, and it's a mess in here. Is that right? A deer? Two deer slaughtered, and outside they were slaughtered, and they're skinned inside, and it's just a puddled up mess. What city is this at? I'm in the area, honey. I know I got a Tennessee area code, but just ignore that. Okay, well, what city? I live in the same city as you. Okay. Yeah. What city is that? Well, um, it's it's in town, pretty much. I kind of live out in the country, but it shouldn't be too far of a drive for you. I'm happy to pay you mileage. Okay. When did you need me out there? Well, I don't know. Is it bad for the blood to just puddle? No. It'll be fine. Well, we're waiting on our income tax. I'm thinking it'll come in on Tuesday. Okay. Then Tuesday's fine. Should I call you back then? Just text me your address and I'll be out there. Okay, baby. Thank you, Sarah T. Okay, let's send him a message. And you already know if you have been here for a while. If not, I'll show you, but I bet you can guess what I'm going to send him. Jesus Christ, and I know it's awful. If you don't like it, tough titty, said the kitty. But I'm, I'm looking for a new picture to send people that is un as unhinged as this, but I ain't found one yet. I know. I know it's crazy, but we're doing it. Okay, this is Karen, one four eight four. I have been offending people in that, you know. As a Christian, I don't want to offend any other Christians, but it's it, and I, when I text some people, they get real offended. So. I am looking for a new picture. I am wearing it out. It's starting, we're starting to beat a dead horse with it. Um, but it is all in good fun. I mean no harm. But just imagine. The funny thing to me is just imagine unsolicitedly getting a picture of Susan's Christ. My bad. He said, yeah, I can clean that. <laughs>
been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, Hey, is this Corey? Yeah. Hi, Corey. I'm a neighbor of yours out here, and I noticed that your Rottweiler has been getting out and shitting in my yard, and I, you know, I know you're new to the neighborhood. That's not okay to be doing. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he's ever been out. Yeah, he gets out in the front yard where you are and shits in my yard. I was going to bake you some cookies to welcome you, but that just really put me off. Uh, is this a prank call, or is this real? This is a real deal, honey. <laughs> okay, well, come over and talk to me about it. I don't go to people's houses, honey. I just have hip replacement surgery. The one across the street. Okay. Well, I don't think my dog's ever made it across the street. He's never gotten out, so. Honey, there's a lot you don't know about then, because he does. <laughs> okay. And I don't appreciate it whatsoever. <clears throat> it's ugly. Sorry, I'm just looking at my mother's ashes right now, and it, it's getting in my throat a little bit. <clears throat> Has that ever happened to you? What, my mom died? No, just get some <coughs> inhaling ashes when you open the urn. It's like it's stirred up in there. You know who Sid Sidney Sweeney is? <coughs> Do you? Huh? Do you know who Sidney Sweeney is? Not at all. You don't know that actress? No. She's got some big old titties. <laughs> you would like her. Anyway, can you just get your dog to pick up its own shit since you don't give a damn? Pretty much. I'll text him. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. <coughs> My throat has a, a, t a chronic tickle. <coughs> If you want a prank all done right now on this live, you have to send a Leon the Kitten. This one is for SMB0328. SMD? SMB. Hello. Hey, 
Hey, this is Brandon. This is. Hey, Brandon. Um, it's Sue. Hey, I was want to see you make any uh, new fish and trips. Guided saltwater. If I do what? Guided saltwater fish and trips in the nude. If I got them in the nude? Yes. Uh, I don't have a captain's license. Oh. I'm not a guide. Oh. Robert referred me to you. He's from Victoria, Texas, and he said that you did that. I know some guides. Uh, I don't know of any guides that do nude fishing trips, though. It's me and my husband's anniversary trip, and we're wanting to do something kinky. I gotcha. Would they let us be in the nude, maybe? I mean, it's just out in the... I mean, I can ask them. I can ask them and get back with you. If you would, that would be great, because okay. I'm having a really hard time finding people. Okay. It's not going to be weird or nothing. It's just, you know. Right, 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 right. Okay. No. Yeah, I'll be calling and I'll call you back. It's just naked people. It's not... It, and in Europe, this would be a quick, easy thing to find. But here in the States, it's not. It's very hard. Right. And my right. husband is Norwegian, and this is something that he wants. I gotcha. Okay. Thank you. For looking oh, into it. Okay, let's see. Who met the goal? That was quick. Tara Sansons, thank you, honey. I'm gonna friend you, Tara. Go ahead and DM me the call request that you won't DM me on here, honey. I'm gonna do another one and then I'll go check my DMs. Kale 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 D. I don't know. Hello? Hey, Michael. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. I don't know if you remember me. It's Sue. I used to babysit you when you were little in Columbia. <laughs> I was friends with your mom and dad, honey, Susie and Stephen. I'd watch you for them. And I, I saw you on Susie's Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I do need somebody to work on my electrical work. Okay. The one that plugged by my bedside table is out, and I can't charge my vibrator. You can't charge your what? My vibrator. Your vibrator? That's what I call it. Do you think you could do this for me, baby? Because everybody's charging me an arm and a leg. <laughs> oh, God. Who is this? <laughs> it's Sue, baby. Don't you remember me? We used to make homemade Play-Doh, and you'd eat it, and then you'd get a tummy ache. I would eat it? Yeah, sonny. You were a heathen. You were such a damn heathen, and then you'd poop it out, and you'd be grunting and crying. And I'd be like, honey, that's what you get. And then you'd also eat that. Oh, my God. Oh, who is this? How are you making that voice? It's so funny. Well, I never smoked around you, because that's bad for children. But I smoked Virginia Slim in the 120s most of my life, honey. Oh, my God. I hope you have this recorded. I know you're oh probably just God. so happy because you remember me and it's making you think of the happy times. <laughs> I'm tickled too, honey. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I love that you're tickled to bits, but let me know about that electricity, okay? I'd love to get yeah. fixed. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, baby. Goodbye. He was happy. Oh my gosh, thank you, Sarah T. <coughs> Alright, let's go look at my messages.
Okay, Clark, thank you so much, but unless the gift goal is there, we are not doing that. But I will I will honor it because I didn't say that. But um I can only do so many. Um so it's only when there is a gift goal, Clark. But uh go ahead and send me your request. I'm trying to find you. And I, another reason is because I can't find you easy. I have to dig up the the comment when you when you make my gift goal. It's easy for me to click you. So please honor that in the future. But I really appreciate the Leon the Kitten. And I'm going to give it to you this one time. But if anyone else does that, I cannot honor that. The gift goal, there is no gift goal right now. Can, who was that that sent me that? If, if mods can pin a comment from them so that I can follow them so I can see their message. That would be great. Okay. <clears throat> I do have a YouTube and an Instagram if y'all don't care to follow it. We don't we know know what's gonna happen with this. But I will be going live on YouTube if something does happen. Um, I don't have a goal set right now, so that's weird. Okay, this one's for Teresa. Okay, can you pin the comment? I don't see it. Yes, this is a gift goal one. This is the one for Teresa and Sons. The gift goal for Teresa and Sons. Clark one four zero zero one. Your call has been forwarded to. Been forwarded to Ooh. no. <coughs> Oh, I found it. I found it. We're good. We're good. Thank you, Sarah T. Okay. Oh. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. 
Aiden. Hey, Aiden, it's Sue. Um, I'm a neighbor of yours. I'm sorry for triple calling you. I just got a bone to pick with you, honey. Who is this? I'm a neighbor of yours. Okay. Um, that dog you've got is off the chain. That fat ass don't listen to one damn word I say when I tell her to get out of my what? yard. Doesn't shut up. Is a rude dog. And it comes in my yard trying to shit. And I smell reefer coming from your estate. And you ain't offered me none. And I'm offended by that. <laughs> Yo, who the fuck? <laughs> I'm serious, honey. Who is this? This is Sue Mother F and Dylan. <laughs> I'm sorry that I hadn't introduced myself prior to this. Who the fuck gave you my number? I got it out of your mailbox, a piece of mail. <coughs> Had it on it. It's just not a big deal. I put it back. I don't want anything. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you think you could give me a little bit and we can call it even? <laughs> okay. Alright, Clark, I'll do yours after I do one of the ones that have paid. Previously, one four four eight Amy. Thank you, Chrissy. Chrissy, wake Please leave your mess. Hello? Hey, Pookie, it's Sue. How are you doing? Oh, my God. Is this Sue from TikTok? Yeah, I saw that TikTok you posted saying you like cougars now that you're single, and I just thought I'd jump on that while I can. Look, dude, I've been stalking you on TikTok for, like, eight months now. I know. I is this really soon for TikTok? Yes. Oh, my God, dude, you are, fu you are fucking hilarious, dude, for real. Oh, thank you, baby. Or there's got to be a fucking app or something, right? <laughs> no, baby, this is the real and the raw. Well, use your regular voice, dude. What the fuck? Honey, this is my real voice. Anyway, I think your muscles are gorgeous. Well, where can we leak up? <laughs> What's up with it? Well, let me ask Spanky first, but I think he won't mind. The Quaaludes don't allow him to have an erection anymore, so he kind of lets me do whatever I, can, I want. I can work with it. I can live it up. Yeah. I need you. I need you in my life, baby. I know you do, baby. I'll call you later on, okay? I gotta, I gotta go. No, no, don't leave me. I'm taking a shit. That's time for me to wipe my ass. I need both hands. Sue, just set the phone down. Don't leave me, baby. I'm sorry, baby. I gotta go. He can't be like this. Don't be too clingy now. I can't help myself. <laughs> yeah, sound bad. Okay. <coughs> Clark. It's your turn. This is a, this is a, um, this is the one of the gift calls. We aren't accepting any more right now. I'll let you know if I decide to.
said, Sue, is this Mark? Yeah. Hi, Mark. Um, I don't know if, I think you know him pretty well. Um, I am friends with two people that come over, I believe, and play cards with you, I think. Don and Irma. Yeah. Yeah, I was speaking with them, and we've all came into congression that your yard is pretty bare, and you need to be putting some plants out there. It's I've really... already got a deal set up with the landscape company. Thank God, honey, because it's bad looking. It looks like a damn dust bowl out there. Okay. Thanks no for the update. No Bye. offense, but hey, I have one more thing I need to say before you hang. Mm mm. You been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Mark, I don't know who the hell told you it's okay to let, hang up on a lady like that, but they were wrong. I was gonna say that your golden retriever has been shitting in my yard as well, and I would appreciate if you'd come pick up the shit since you don't have nothing to do. It's not like you're landscaping your lawn or nothing. Next up is 1492. Thank you, David. Hello? Hey, is this Carol? Yeah. Hey, honey, how are you doing? Fine. Good. Um... I'm a nurse at the clinic that you've been coming to for dialysis. Uh-huh. And, um, we're just calling because we're concerned, um, about your GI health. Um, we've noticed that when you leave the commode area, that it's often stopped up or there's skid marks left, and it's in pretty rough shape when you leave, and we have to clean it. And, um, we just wanted to do some counseling on how healthier bowel habits well I've got which clinic are you talking about it's the one you do <coughs> sorry excuse me I open my mother's ashes I do that once a month and the ashes lingering in the air um, I'm working from home today because I really don't go to the bathroom while I'm there well, maybe not every time, but there's been a few handful of times where you have, and we've, we've noticed it, and I didn't want to embarrass you and say it in front of everybody, but... Okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you're eating enough fiber. I am, but I have irritable bowel syndrome, so... Honey, don't we all? You need to be staying away from caffeine now. Okay. Do you get pretty triggered at the Walgreens? Because that's where my hellhole is. That's where I have to go dump immediately. Something about that no. place. No, I just have a lot of pain. I'm sorry that you're in pain. Okay. But, um, we just need you, next time you come back in, you know, I have IBS too, so there's nothing to be ashamed of. But, um... We need you to sign a release that the clinic isn't liable for any civil matters that come due to multiple complaints of the smell from the bathroom. Okay. We don't know if it's you or not, but it could be other people, too. We're just having everybody sign it. Doesn't everybody's poop stink? It's been obscene, honey. It's on another level. Okay. Oh, and by the way, this is a prank call. Oh, and by the way, this was a prank call.
I'm sorry, honey. Shit, I don't. Honey, it isn't cruel. It's somebody's fiance. They know what they can handle. And some people think shit is funny. You're a fellow IBS, sir. It helps with the pain, doesn't it? All right, Regina. Hello. Hello, may I speak with Nicholas? <laughs> Hello. Hey. <laughs> Who am I talking with? This is Sue Dillon. And I, I, is it Sue Dillon? Yes, I came across you on the dating app. <laughs> Hi, Sue Dillon. I hope my profile was to, uh, to your liking. It's all right. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's cool that you are a big guy in a school. I, I would love to, I would love to reap the benefits of that health insurance one day. I know you would. You look like a handsome enough man, too. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you can handle my dominance, though. I know you're in a leadership role, but, honey, I call the shots in the relationship. Uh, listen, I'm a mama's boy through and through, so I, I need a strong, a strong uh, woman in leadership. I'll respect that. Excellent, honey. Send pics, okay? <laughs> Sounds good. Bye, baby. Oh, thank you, David. Okay, let's do one for Andrea. Hey, is this Shay? Yeah. Hey, Shay. Um, I, I've been seeing Brad Hanna for a lawyer, and I need some help with the case that we're working with. I ain't heard back from him in a while. Okay. I got your number on Facebook. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, basically... I'm civilly suing my neighbor because they've been letting their Labrador Retriever shit in my yard and I slipped and fell in the dog shit and broke my hip. Oh my gosh. But this lawyer has ghosted me and I've already paid. Well, what I would do, if I was you, I would probably go take a shit in their yard. Well, honey, my hip is broke now. Bye. Oh. Tough one. I know. Do you think that you could suck Brad Hanna's chode and get him to call me back? need that money, you know, the income tax, they didn't pay me as much as I thought they would, and I'm really needing this money. Yeah. My income tax ain't come in yet either. I'm still waiting. It's like they're dragging their damn feet. Oh. What is going on? All these 10 kids, like, you'd think that they would care, you know, enough to yeah. throw that money back. They sure as hell don't, do they? No. Well, let Brad Hanna know what's going on. and <coughs> Just, sorry. Yeah. I'm like choking on some ashes. So I was looking at my mother's ashes. Oh, I do that. It's, it sorry. reminds me of her. It sort of smells like her in a way. Yeah. She used to smoke. But I hope you get over it. 
over your broken hip. And as soon as I got over that, I'd go back and I'd go take a crap in their yard, too. Okay, baby. Yeah, I might do that when my hip gets better. That's good advice. That's what I'm here for. Thank you, darling. I'm gonna get off here. It's time for me to right. use the bidet. It's very All loud. Right. It's good to hear from you. Alright, bye-bye. Bye. <coughs> While you're here, join the team, honey. We have jackets. You just purchase the member heart up here. It's like a penny. Shit, I know you got a penny, don't you? Thank you. Okay, this one is for James. It's 1503. Your call cannot be complete. Oh, thank you for the money, guy, Brenda. <coughs> Check it is. Message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Bonnie, it's Sue. Uh, I'm and I'm seeing your brother Cliff. I'm his new girl, and we're going strong, honey. We really are into each other. I just wanted to call you and say hello. And um, we met at the jewelry store. He's such a catch. It knows his diamonds really well. I hope he puts one on my finger soon. I know it's a little early to be talking about that, but I know it's going to ha happen soon. So, But, <clears throat> Bonnie, I just wanted to introduce myself and say hello. So, bye, honey. One five oh five. Hey, is this Suzanne? Yes, it is. Um, I just couldn't help but notice that your corgi has been shooting outside and you ain't been picking up the shit. That what? Your corgi has been shooting outside and you ain't been picking up the shit. That's not true. It is true, Suzanne. No, it isn't. He doesn't go out by himself. He goes out with me or my husband. I know, and y'all don't... He take the bags with us. It was the man that wasn't picking up the shit, honey. Well, I don't believe that because he's adamant about things like that. Well, he ain't adamant about we it. We pride ourselves to be very good neighbors, so. Well, you pride yourself to be good neighbors and don't clean up the dog shit. Who is this? This is Sue. Where I'm do just... you live, Sue? I live a few houses down from you, and I'm just fed up with having to pick up dog shit when I don't even own a dog. No, I totally understand. <laughs> but if that happens, how did you get my phone number? I just got it from the neighbors. It doesn't matter who I got it from. Okay, well, since you have it, just write down next to my name that I have the corgi, and the next time you see something like that, call me right away. Or text me the two, and I will come out and see what you're talking about. I know I there are other corgis in the neighborhood. There's somebody that probably about four houses down from us. They're they seem very nice people, but they have the I think it's like a, a nature conserve organic area or something. And it's but in front of the house is all um, fenced in with a dark fence. Yes. And it's pretty tall, and they have to open it up to come and go. Yes, I but know they them. Have a corgi. I know so them. 
It's not their you corgi. It's them or me. Though. I know them because me and my husband swing with them. We know their corgi well, but it okay. ain't. It isn't their corgi. Well, if that happened, I apologize. When did that happen? Can you tell me so I can talk to him? It happens often, honey, and I can send you the picture of the shit that I have. Well, no, I want a picture of, of my husband and the dog doing it. That's okay. what I want. Okay. Because I still don't believe that it happened. But I will talk to him. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Have a blessed Bye. day. I'll pray for you. You too, dear. Thank you. You too, dear. <clears throat> All right, Jacqueline. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Hello? Hey, may I speak to Jessica, please? This is Sue Dillon, honey. It's not a wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> a little birdie on the grapevine told me that you've been serving raccoon and shit like that at, at cookouts. <laughs> you ought to come over and try some. <laughs> it sounds like it might taste pretty damey, but honestly, I'm interested, honey. I've ate squirrel and all kinds of other shit. I am, honey. What do I have to do to prove it to you? You really do sound like it. <laughs> do them beavers and shit ever have ticks on them? I get those ticks off of them. Man, that, <laughs> that would... Do you eat the meat after that? That would disgust me, honey. <laughs> we eat the meat and we eat it all. You really... Are you really the, the Sue Dillon girl? Yes. You sound just like her. I am. <laughs> You're on my live right now, honey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the real Sue Dillon, biatch. <laughs> Morgan, this is the real <laughs> Sue Dillon girl. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Somebody has gotten me good. I'm dead ass, honey. What kind of live <laughs> trap? Oh my gosh. <laughs> What kind of live trap do you use? I need some for these cats that keep coming in my yard. <laughs> you just, oh, for the bats, you just need to get you a good 22. No, it's a cat, not a bat. <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty I'm cat. I'm away with. I cannot believe this. <laughs> it's me, honey. It's the real one. Yeah, I, I believe it. I am. I, did my cousin put you up to this? Honey, I don't disclose who put, who put it in. <laughs> but you might be right. Oh my gosh. This is too much. <laughs> I hope you have a blessed week, honey. I'm going to smoke one for you. Okay, smoke one for me. Bye. <laughs> Alright, we're big fans. I appreciate you. Bye-bye, honey. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye. 
Okay. Cold, sir. Oh, thank you, Madison. Your call has been forwarded to voice. Call has been forwarded to voice now. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hey, baby, it's Sue. Um, I'm out here in South Carolina, Murray in South Carolina. And my brother works at Sparky's Fireworks with you. And he's talking you up, saying you're the most handsome thing. And I was wondering if I could take you out on a date. So... Um, I'm sure you're lonely out here moving out and not knowing anybody, and I'd love to take you out to Golden Corral. It's the best place we can eat. Um, it's real good food. They even have steak there, so let me know what you think. <clears throat> Kylie. Kylie Schmidt. Something's off with this. Hello? We're gonna try the other phone. <clears throat> It was just ringing. It's doing that same thing. It like rings two or, <coughs> two or three times and then goes, it like pick, acts like someone picked up and then it dials on. So this number is something is wrong with it. So I'm going to email you. Actually, one five two five. <clears throat> I'm making sure I dialed it right.
Thank you, Sarah T. I must have dialed it wrong. Hey, Jake, it's Sue from Sherwin-Williams. <laughs> How's it going? It's good. We, you know, I just, I've been enjoying you coming into the store. And, uh, you know, you are something nice to look at. <laughs> Dude, I've heard this one before. Oh, yeah. I have told you how handsome you are. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard, I've heard this one before. You have. Awesome. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Is this the uh, cigarette lady? Yes, honey. Virginia Slim and Thaw 120 has been toking <laughs> on those since I was 12 years old. Dude, me too. Fucking awesome. You, you smoke Virginia Slims too? I ain't never met a man that smoked Virginia Slims. Well, hundreds. Well, good for you. Dude, I gotta use this voiceover. It's fucking awesome. Well, baby. I'm taking a shit. Someone get off here and wipe my ass, but it was good to talk to you. Alright, I'll make sure I use my app and call you back. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I think he thinks I'm a, a robot or something. He said voiceover. He said, I'm gonna call you back with my app. Okay, this is 1527 for... Randick F12. Hello? May I speak with Ashley? <coughs> this is Ray. I need to speak with Ashley. I don't know who the hell you are, but you need to back the hell down, honey. I'm speaking to Ashley, not some man. What the fuck you play with? Who is this? Um, I'm a neighbor of yours. Put that motherfucker on speakerphone. You're a Yes, and I would appreciate it if you'd clean up your yard and quit having so many damn people coming over on the weekends. I ain't slept at all, and I'm grouchy as hell. I don't know who the fuck you are. I don't, I don't use that language, sir. I you, do. Well, don't, well, don't call my cell phone and tell me what to do. I will call and call and call if I need to, honey. Where, 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 what, what neighbor are you? Where do you live? I live down the road from you, Hoss. Where? Hoss? You know what? Cussing is a crutch for a conversational cripple. I'm so sorry. We will make sure that we clean our act up just for you. Thank you. The Lord is watching. You're, it really should be for you, the Lord. You are very welcome. You have a blessed day. You too, honey. I will say a prayer for you and that man. All right. Thank you. And if he ever hurts you, you let me know. Oh, he is the best man ever. Thank Good. you. Bye. Okay, this one is for Delana. 
Hello, is this DJ? Um, I live down. <laughs> um, you know me already, baby. You've seen my voicemails, haven't you? You see what I'm Yes, and your dogs. Yeah, I've been waiting for this call. Who did it? Your dogs are still shitting in my yard, honey. <laughs> She can't get me. Shit. Okay, so the bag. <laughs> I'm gonna think. have to. I'm gonna have to change some stuff up because too many people have been watching lately. <laughs> I just saw you a couple hours ago. That's funny. Shit. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait. I, the lady did it, did she? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I never kiss and tail. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> but I. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good week, honey. Bye. <laughs> We've been trying to get him for a long time. Okay, I'm going to do one more. It's only one, though, okay? One more gift. If we meet the gift goal, you get a call right now, okay? Mm -hmm. If nobody wants it, that's not going to hurt my feelings, but I'm going to offer it. one second and if you haven't already get you a member heart honey it's only a penny and it really helps the gal out thank you baby all right kylie schmidt Thank you for the corky ass, Sarah T. Hello, you've reached the personal voicemail of Deborah Bratton, a corky adjusting company. I'm sorry to have missed your call. Please leave a message along with your phone number, and I will return your call just as promptly as I'm able to. Please note there may be a 40 minute delay while traveling through the mountain passes. I look forward to speaking with you. Thank you. After leaving a message, you can hang up or press pound for more options. <laughs> hey, Deborah. Um, it's Sue. And um, I just wanted to call and let you know that your property is in, in my way. I'm trying to put my campaign sign up. I'm running for Sue Dillon Town Council, honey. We're going to clean up the act of this city. But I need you to back up your property line to make space for my signs and advertising. Um, or allow me to put it on part of your property, please, because this is serious. So, please, um, let me know what which it is. We can either move the property line, or you can let me put the signs where I want to put them. Because you should be voting for me anyway, honey. <laughs>
Okay, now we're on 1537. Dawn. Your call has been forwarded to voice. Your call has been forwarded to... Thank you, Laura. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available at the time. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hey, Mickey, it's Sue from back in the day. Um, we used to, uh, hook up back in the day. You were a gentle lover. I still think about you from time to time. I was wondering if you're still in the Knoxville area because I'm in town and I'd like to save a horse and ride a cowgirl if you catch my drift. But, um... Yeah, I've been thinking about you. I still have some love notes that we shared back and forth, and I have a pack of, it's a vintage pack of Virginia Slims that you kissed with that red lipstick you'd wear when you'd bartend. I miss you, honey. Give me a call back. Okay, that was the last one. I have a few more minutes on here. I'm going to try to check my email, and I've got one that I need to do. Oh, goodness, Casey met it. We're going to do Casey's then. All right, Casey, that's the only one I'm doing, so no more. Casey, go ahead and send me the info I just rented you. Just DM it to me, and I'll do it. I'm going to check my email while I'm waiting, and I got one to do for Australia. Bye. <clears throat> All right. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you for everything. Miss Sue loves you. Okay, let me do this Australia call.
Yep. <clears throat> okay. You still want? Yep. Actually. Yes, I'll announce the giveaway. I almost forgot. I'll do it live. Honey, it's Sue. How are you doing, Dawn? Shit. She answered. But she hung up. Lumbilla. Hello, it's Dawn here. I cannot take your call right now. Thank you. Dawn, I don't know what happened. Dale to Dawn, what's that flower you have on? Honey, I just moved down here from the States. Um, is it is it pronounced Wallumbilla? Can you help me blend in a little bit? I was wondering um, if we could hang out. I noticed your grass is so green, but honey, it's very tall. Um, I can teach you some tricks we use back in the United States of America to keep the grass trimmed low because I know that y'all are more energy efficient here. Maybe your lawnmower's electric and you can't mow that much. Hell, I don't know, but I'm happy to hook you up, honey, if you hook me up. Um, just call me back when you can. Bye, Delta Dawn. I'm trying to get in touch with her for so long. Okay. <coughs> Let's look at the one that sent the, the car. Um... Okay, Casey. Casey G, it's your turn, honey. Your call 
has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please... Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hi, honey, it's Sue. Um, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I ain't talked to you in so long, and um, I heard that you just got divorced, and so I just wanted to sing you happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ginger. Happy birthday to you and many more. Okay, I'm just checking my email real quick. Um, if you want a prank call, but you don't like my prices, a good way to do it is to subscribe to me. My subscribers get a free prank call with their first month of subscription. And then for their third month, I send you a one of a kind piece of merch in the mail. And then for your six month subscription, you get another free call and a free year as well. Now the calls are done on Sundays with Sue only at the beginning. So my Sundays with Sue always start at 6 p.m. Central. And Sorry, I'm like reading at the same time. Um, I'll let you know what the date is. It, it can't always be the next Sundays with Sue. Right now I'm getting so booked up. So, and I'm booked up like pretty, pretty far out. So I'll let you know what the time is. Um, and we will reach out to you. If you wanted to go ahead and DM us the call, that's fine if you subscribe. And I, I add you as my friend, so that's how I see your DMs. I don't see anybody's DMs that I'm not friends with. But that's, um, that's how it is. Take a deep breath or drag. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, that is all. But I hope y'all have a good weekend. Oh, we're gonna announce the winner. Um, 
of the giveaway. I'm gonna pick them at random. I'm just gonna scroll and land on somebody. So. Uh, where is that? There it is. Here we go. Oh, we landed on Kim Griffin. I'm messaging you. And then going back to it. Crystal. Okay, I'm following. I requested to follow her back, but I commented on her comment. And then we're going to do one more. And I'm sending you the purses at random. I don't know who it's going to. I don't know who's going to get the $100 bill. I don't know who's going to get the free prank call. I don't know who's getting the t-shirt. Mindy Stephan. Awesome. Good live. A lot of people knew me. My only thing is if you know that somebody knows Sue Dillon, don't put them in for a, a prank call. Put them in for a cameo or something. But we like to keep this authentic and like I really want to get good prank calls on this live. And sometimes you don't know that they'll know, but try to keep it fresh and only send me people that don't know. Por favor. Two, three. Okay. I hope y'all have a good night. You can request on my link tree. I'm going to make a video about how to request soon. I've just changed my system and I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with the new system. But um, I am. So I'm going to make an, a video about how to soon. But I hope you'll have a great night and a good week. Bye.